Good morning children. Let us continue the 9th standard maths lesson number systems. The next topic we are going to study number system is law of exponents for real numbers. In your previous classes you might have studied the laws of exponents in which a, n and m are natural numbers and a is called as the base and m and n are the exponents. So in your earlier classes you had a to the power m into a to the power n equal to a to the power m plus n then a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n a to the power m by a to the power n equal to a to the power m minus n then a to the power m into b to the power m equal to a b whole to the power m. Those laws of exponents you might have studied in your earlier classes. But in number systems, we have, we have the following extended laws of exponents. Therefore, law of exponents for real numbers, we have so many formulas. So, in law of exponents for real numbers, in the place of m and n, we have substituted p and q. Where P and Q are rational numbers. We know that rational numbers can be represented in the form of P by Q. Therefore, let A greater than 0 be a real number and P and Q be rational numbers. Therefore, in number systems, we have extended law of exponents for real numbers as a to the power p into a to the power q is equal to a to the power p plus q. a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q. a to the power p divided by a to the power q is equal to a to the power p minus q. a to the power p into b to the power p is equal to a b whole to the power p. Then fifth one, a by b whole to the power p is equal to a to the power p by b to the power p. Then we have a to the power 0 is equal to 1. Then 1 by a to the power n is equal to a to the power minus n. So, based on these laws of exponents for real numbers, let us solve the last exercise problems of this chapter number systems. Exercise 1.6, first mean, find, we have the first problem, 64 to the power 1 by 2. Now, to do this problem, first let us take the LCM of 64. Therefore, we have 64 goes by the least number that is 2. Therefore, we have 2 3s are 6. 2 2 is a 4. Then 32 again it goes by 2. 2 1 is a 2. 3 minus 2 1 is remaining. 2 6 is a 12. Then again it goes by 2. 2 8 is a 16. Then 2 4 is a 8. 2 2 is a 4. 2 1 is a 2. Therefore, well, taking out the LCM of 64, it goes by the least number 2. Now, count this number of 2. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we got 2 to the power 6 from the LCM. We need to find out the LCM because the 64 to the power 1 by 2 has to be converted to the law of exponent form. Therefore, in the place of 64, through the LCM we got 2 to the power 6. Therefore, substitute here 2 to the power 6 whole to the power 1 by 2. Now, this is in the form of law of exponent. We know that this is of the form a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q. Therefore, the value of a will be equal to 2 and the value of p is 6 into the value of q is 1 by 2. Therefore, in the next step, consider the powers. We have 2 1s are 2 3s are 6. 
थ्री वन जार थ्री देर फोर वी हैव टू टू द पवर थ्री इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप नाउ वी हैव टू टू द पवर थ्री सो टू इंटू टू इंटू टू वी विल गेट टू टू ज फोर फोर टू ज एट देर फोर द आंसर टू द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सिक्सटी फोर टू द पवर वन बाई टू विल बी एट सो वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस सिक्सटी फोर इन टर्म्स ऑफ लॉ ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट सो ऑन फाइंडिंग आउट द एल सेम ऑफ सिक्सटी फोर we will get the law of exponent in the form of a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q therefore on simplification we will get the final answer equal to 8 this is the answer for the first problem the second problem we have 125 to the power 1 by 3 so let us factorize this 125 let us find out the factors of 125 through the lcm therefore 125 so on finding out the factors so 125 goes by 5 so 5 5 2 is a 10 12 minus 10 2 is remaining therefore 5 5 is a 25 then again 5 5 is a 25 5 ones a 5 therefore we have 5 into 5 into 5 that is 5 to the power 3 therefore in the place of 125 now substitute 5 to the power 3 whole to the power 1 by 3 this is again of the form a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q where the value of a is equal to 5 p is 3 q is 1 by 3 therefore a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q so p is 3 into q is 1 by 3 so on cancelling 3 of the denominator and 3 of the numerator in the power we get 5 to the power 1 so this 5 to the power 1 will be equal to 5 therefore the answer for the second problem 125 to the power 1 by 3 is 5 second main find the first problem 9 to the power 3 by 2 so again let us find out the factors of 9 through lcm therefore 9 it goes by 3 so 3 3s are 9 and 3 ones are 3 so 3 square or 3 to the power 2 because 3 has been repeated two times therefore it is 3 square so in the place of 9 let us substitute 3 square whole to the power 3 by 2 again this is in the form of a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q where the value of a is equal to 3 p is equal to 2 and q is equal to 3 by 2 so a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q therefore 3 to the power 2 into 3 by 2 therefore in the next step two of the denominator and two of the numerator in the powers get cancels so the remaining is 3 to the power 3 so in the next step 3 into 3 into 3 3 3 is a 9 9 is a 27 is the answer for the second main first problem 9 to the power 3 by 2 I have used the law of exponent a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q. This is the answer. Next, the second problem we have thirty two to the power two by five. So let us find out the factors of thirty two through LCM. Therefore, thirty two it goes by the least number that is two. Two ones are two. Three minus two one is remaining. So two six are twelve. Two eights are sixteen. Two fours are eight. Two twos are four. Two ones are two. So one, two, three, four, five. So two to the power five. The LCM of thirty-two. Therefore, in the place of thirty-two, substitute two to the power five whole to the power. 2 by 5 this is of the form a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q 
therefore a value is equal to 2 and p value is equal to 5 q value is equal to 2 by 5 so a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q therefore we have 2 to the power 5 into 2 to the power 5 again 5 of the denominator and 5 of the numerator in the power get cancels therefore we have 2 square we know that 2 square is equal to 4 2 into 2 we will get the answer equal to 4 therefore this is the answer to the second problem 32 to the power 2 by 5 is equal to 4 Next problem we have 125 to the power minus 1 by 3. So on finding out the LCM of 125, it goes by 5. So 5 twos are 10, 12 minus 10, 2 is remaining. So 5 fives are 25, 5 fives are 25, 5 ones are 5. Therefore 5 into 5 into 5, we will get 5 to the power 3. Therefore, in the place of 125, let us substitute 5 to the power 3 whole to the power minus 1 by 3. This is of the form a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q. Where the values of a is equal to 5, p is equal to 3 and q is equal to minus 1 by 3. a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q therefore 5 to the power 3 into minus 1 by 3 therefore 3 of the denominator and 3 of the numerator get cancels therefore we have 5 to the power minus 1 we know that we have one formula a to the power minus 1 will be equal to 1 by a this is of the form a to the power minus 1 where the value of a is equal to 5 so a to the power minus 1 will be equal to 1 by a therefore this 5 to the power minus 1 is equal to 1 by 5 this is the answer to the problem 125 to the power minus 1 by 3 the answer is 1 by 5 These are the answers for the second main problem of the exercise, last exercise. That is exercise 1.6. These are the answers. Now consider the third main, simplify. In that first problem we have, we have the first problem 1 by 3 to the power 3 whole to the power 7. This problem is of the form a by b whole to the power m is equal to a to the power p by b to the power p. Therefore, this problem is of the form a by b whole to the power p is equal to a to the power p by b to the power p. So, in number system, we have the law of exponent as a by b whole to the power p is equal to a to the power p by b to the power p, where the value of a is equal to 1 and the value of b will be equal to 3 to the power 3 and the value of p will be equal to 7. On substituting, we have a that is 1 to the power 7 by b 3 to the power 3 whole to the power 7 which is of the form a to the power p by b to the power p. In the next step 1 to the power 7 right as it is divided by 3 to the power 3 whole to the power 7. This is of the form a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q. This is of the form a to the power p whole to the power q is equal to a to the power p into q. Therefore, we will get 3 to the power 3 into 7 a to the power p into q. Therefore, in the next step equal to 1 to the power 7 by 3 to the power 3 into 7 or 7 into 3, 3 7 is 21. Therefore, we have 1 to the power 7 by 3 to the power 21. We know that this 1 to the power 7 is 1 only. Then we will write it as 3 to the power 21. We have one formula that 
वन बै ए इज ईक्वल टू ए टू द पवर माइनस वन और ए टू द पवर माइनस वन इज ईक्वल टू वन बै ए ना इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हेव वन बै थ्री टू द पवर ट्वेंटी वन विच इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वन बै ए सो दैट वेन कन्वर्टेड इन टू ए टू द पवर माइनस वन दिस वन बै थ्री टू द पवर ट्वेंटी वन विल बी थ्री टू द पवर माइनस ट्वेंटी वन बिकॉज वन बै ए इज ईक्वल टू ए टू द पवर माइनस वन वन बै ए विच इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ इन दिस प्रॉब्लम हैज वन बै थ्री टू द पवर ट्वेंटी वन सो ऑन कन्वर्टिंग दिस टू ए टू द पवर माइनस वन इट विल बी थ्री टू द पवर माइनस ट्वेंटी वन सो इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम दिस प्रॉब्लम इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए बाई बी होल टू द पवर पी इज ईक्वल टू ए टू द पवर पी बाई ए टू द पवर पी बाई बी टू द पवर पी सो ऑन फर्दर सिंप्लीफिकेशन एंड यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला इन द डिनोमिनेटर ए टू द पवर पी होल टू द पवर क्यू इज ईक्वल टू ए टू द पवर पी इन टू क्यू ऑन सिंप्लीफिकेशन एंड यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला वन बाई ए इक्वल टू ए टू द पवर माइनस वन वी विल गेट द फाइनल आंसर इक्वल टू थ्री टू द पवर माइनस ट्वेंटी वन दिस इज द आंसर टू द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम The second problem, eleven to the power one by two by eleven to the power one by four. This is of the form a to the power p by a to the power q is equal to a to the power p minus q, and the value of a is equal to eleven, and the value of p is equal to one by two, and the value of q is equal to one by four. Therefore. The law of exponent used in this problem is a to the power p by a to the power q is equal to a to the power p minus q. Therefore, the value of a is equal to eleven, and the value of p is equal to one by two minus the value of q is equal to one by four. Now we have eleven to the power one by two minus one by four. So take the powers one by two minus one by four. Find out the LCM of two and four. We know that on finding out the LCM of two and four, so two, four. We know that two ones are two, two twos are four. Again, two, two ones are two ones are. So two into two, it will be. So two into two will get four. So four is the LCM. So we have one by two and four. So two twos are four. Therefore. Two ones are two minus four ones are four, so we have one. Four ones are four, so multiply one to the numerator. One ones are one. Therefore, two minus one it will be one by four is the answer. Therefore, on substituting here, eleven to the power one by two minus one by four, on through the simplification, the answer is. One by four. Therefore, the answer to the problem eleven to the power one by two by eleven to the power one by four is eleven to the power one by four. Where this problem is of the form a to the power p by a to the power q is equal to a to the power p minus q. Therefore, on further simplification, we got the answer eleven to the power one by four as the final answer. This is the solution to the second problem. Next problem we have seven to the power one by two into eight to the power one by two. This is of the form a to the power p into b to the power p is equal to a b whole to the power p. Therefore, the value of a is equal to seven, b is equal to eight, and the p is equal to one by two. So a to the power p into b to the power p is equal to a equal to a b whole to the power p. Therefore, the value of a is equal to seven into the value of b is equal to eight whole to the power one by two. So seven eight sa fifty six whole to the power one by two, or it will be equal to fifty six to the power. One by two has the answer. Therefore, we have used the law of exponent. Whereas in this problem, a to the power p into b to the power p is equal to a b whole to the power p. On simplification, we will get the answer fifty six to the power one by two. 
fourth problem we have 2 to the power 2 by 3 into 2 to the power 1 by 5. This is of the form a to the power p into a to the power q is equal to a to the power p plus q and the value of a is equal to 2 and the value of p is 2 by 3, q is 1 by 5. Therefore, so a to the power p into a to the power q is equal to a to the power p plus q. Therefore, in the next step, 2 to the power 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5. Therefore, now take the powers 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5. So, find out the LCM of the denominators 3 and 5. So, 3 and 5, both the numbers do not divisible by the same number. But the least number, we will take 3. 3 ones are 3, write 5 as it is. Now, it goes by 5. 1s are 5, 1s are 5. So, 3 into 5, we will we'll get the answer 15. Therefore, the LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. Now, 3 5s are 15 so 2 into 5 so 5 2s are 10 plus 5 3s are 15 so multiply 3 to the numerator therefore 3 1s are 3 so 10 plus 3 it will be 13 by 15 so on simplification of 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5 through the LCM we got the answer 13 by 15 therefore 2 to the power 13 by 15. 15 is the answer. Therefore, in order to solve this problem, we have used the law of exponent a to the power p into a to the power q is equal to a to the power p plus q. Therefore, 2 by 3 plus 1 by 5 on finding out the LCM in this way, we have got 15. On further simplification, we got the answer 13 by 15. Therefore, the final answer to this problem is 2 to the power 13 by 15. So, children, this is all about the number systems chapter, children. Thank you.